Hello students, once again, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will share with you the circular flow of income, the four sector model where we introduce the foreign sector. That is, we, we have already discussed the circular flow of income with households, firms, government. And here we will introduce the foreign sector. <clears throat> all countries we know, they all engage in international trade because no country is self-sufficient they all do exports and imports. So here we include the foreign sector with households, government sector and business sector will be there and foreign sector will be new one. I've already discussed with you the circular flow of income in the three sector economy with government. You can watch my previous videos, but here I will quickly recapitulate what I have discussed with you in my previous videos. Then we will move to the foreign sector. Households and firms. First, you can say these two. Households supply factors of production. See, you can see this down arrow. So from households, factors of production are flowing to the firms. That is land, labor, capital, organization. So these are the factors of production. So it is flowing from households to firms. That is factors of production are flowing from houses to firms because firms employ factors of production in order to undertake the production process. And in return, the firms or the business sector, they pay rent, wages, interest, and profit to the households. So you can see from business sector, the factors of production price, that is rent, wages, interest, profit, it is going to the households, right? Now we can see that households, they buy goods and services from the firms. So the firms, they supply, <coughs> supply goods and services. So from firms, the arrow is coming to the houses. So from firms, the goods and services are flowing to the households. You can see the supply of goods and services to the houses, right? And in return, what happens? The house sector has to do consumption expenditure. That is, has to pay to the firms for buying goods and services. So money is flowing from household sector for expenditure on goods and services to the business sector. So here we complete the houses and the business sector. Now, we know houses and firms they both pay taxes to the government sector. So see, households are paying taxes to the government and firms are also paying taxes to the government, right? Now the government buys goods and services from firms in order to undertake the development process, right? So the government has to spend some money by for buying goods and services in order to undertake the production process, development process, right? So money is going from the government to the firms for expenditure on development. Similarly, the government also buys land labor from the household. So in, a, in return, what does the government do? The government spends on the households in the form of wages, rent, right? So from the government, expenditure is going to the household. So here we complete the households, government and the firms, a quick recapitulation. Now we will move to the foreign sector. See, houses buy goods imported from abroad and makes payments to the foreign sector. Now, if the houses, they import goods from abroad, that is from the foreign sector, it has to pay to the foreign sector. Right? See here, from houses, import payment is done to the foreign sector. Here, only the money flow is shown. The real flow is not shown for simplicity. So the, from the households, money payment is done for imposed to the foreign sector, right? Households receive foreign remittances in foreign exchange by selling factor services abroad. So what it is, example, I will tell you, very simple example. Indian people, they work abroad. Many Indian people, they go abroad out of India and they are working. So they may remit income to their families in India. That is, they may transfer their income to their families in India. So from foreign sector, foreign sector foreign remittance it is moved to the household sector that is to the indian people so foreign remittance is when indian people they work abroad and they transfer their income to the indian households you see foreign remittance is flowing from foreign sector to the household sector right now we'll do this part in another slide now we come to the foreign sector and firms or business sector Firms export goods and services to foreign countries. 
and receives payment in the form of receipts from exports. So you can see export receipt. So when firms are exporting goods and services that to the foreign countries, that is when Indian firms are selling goods and services to the foreigners, they get money in return. So that is known as export receipt. That is foreigners, they are giving the payment or they are doing payment for the exp exports which the Indian firms are doing. So from foreign sector, money is flowing from the foreign sector to the firms, right? Firms make payments to the foreign sector for import of goods and services, which is a flow of expenditure out of the economy. Now, firms also does some payments to the foreign sector because it buys some goods and services from the foreign countries. So this import payment, it is flowing from the firms or the business sector to the foreign sector. So sometimes they get export receipt, that is they get money, but they also spend money because when they import goods and services, that is when the business sector imports goods and services from foreign sector, they do the payment to the foreign sector. So this is known as import payment, right? Now, if the inflow of income is equal to the outflow of income, there would be equilibrium in the circular flow of income. That is, if the exports and imports they are equal, there would be equilibrium in the circular flow of income, which is a very rare case, in fact. And if exports are greater than imports, what happens? There is a surplus, is a trade surplus. That is, money remains in the economy. And if imports is greater than exports, what happens? Money flows out of the economy. So there would be a trade deficit. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Bye-bye. Have a great time.